Louisville Sneakerheads. A huge event is going on this weekend in Louisville where you can buy, sell, trade some very rare shoes. Josh Ninke is live in the studio this morning to give us a preview. Hey, Shannon. Yeah, so I'm here with Devin with Sneaker Culture, and you guys have a very cool event happening this weekend, yes. and you brought a little bit of us. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, some little stuff yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so what all do you guys have going on? Because I know nothing about uh, okay. the whole sneaker thing. Okay, so it'll be this Saturday, um, May 20th, mm -hmm. we'll be displaying all, it's an opportunity for everyone to display. It's a buy, sell, trade sneaker event. Yeah. So all vendors travel from all across the Midwest, from Indiana, Louisville, Ohio, Illinois. They travel, they set up all their sneakers like I'm doing here as well. It's an opportunity for all the sneaker lovers to get uh, together under one roof and do what we all love, buy, sell, trade. There's store owners that come. Yeah. People that will just come to shop, get the fresh kicks that they've been dying to have <laughs> all these years, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's so cool. Um, so we've got some video playing right now of some of the events you guys have held in the past, but I'd love for you to walk me through some of what you brought in this morning and, okay. and tell yeah. me what What's so cool and special about these? Okay, well, first we got to start off right here. These shoes are right here. They're called the Metallic Fives. They're from 1990. Okay. This is one of the first retros that Michael Jordan did back in the day. Cool. And we go along right here. This is a very exclusive feet? sneaker. These were not released to the general public. They're Oregon Duck Threes. Uh -huh. These were only made for um, the football players that played. The 2012, maybe don't quote me on that year, <laughs> yeah. but they played for the Oregon football team college, the university, yeah. and they were only issued to um, the players. So there's a little number right here. Oh, that's cool. That is the player that it was belonged to, right? and they ended up selling it off. And then all these are very exclusive, and right here is a Travis Scott. Mm -hmm. They is a Jordan 1. Um, it's a collaboration that is a... Travis Scott works for Nike in a way, and okay. they, they have his own signature sneaker. That's cool. And, and so, obviously, when you're saying these are exclusive, yes. I imagine these are also pretty expensive, very too. Expensive, very expensive. Could you ballpark some of this for me? Because I, I just so I have an idea. Right here, I would the, say two to three thousand dollars. Wow, the the Oregon ones. Yeah, yeah, these are pretty priceless. Depending on the collector, you get up to a thousand dollars or so. Um, these are anywhere from a thousand to fifteen hundred. Wow. Maybe about fifteen hundred right here close to $1,000, and then maybe about $500 right here Goodness, as well. Goodness, that is a lot of money. That is so cool. <laughs> how did how did you get into to doing this? Because this, this seems uh, like a, a potentially expensive hobby to yeah, get into. Yeah, it, it definitely is. Not all sneakers are as expensive as these. Yeah. There's, for ev there's shoes for everyone, but I started whenever I was 11 years old. Yeah. I'm about to be 24 now. <laughs> so I started buying, selling, and trading, just like everyone that attends my events. Yeah. And then I got a little older, and I started, about when I was 19, I started to get into actually hosting the events right and giving a great safe place for all the families and friends to come together and do what they love with sneakers and whatnot That's so cool yeah so folks who want to come out this is uh, going on Saturday noon to 5 at the Kentucky Expo Center and uh, if you get tickets in advance uh, you get a little bit of a, a, yeah. a, a to money off right mm -hmm. $15 in advance online at sneakercultureluwil.eventbrite.com and it'll be $20 at the door Fantastic. Of course, we'll put that information at wave3.com. And I want you guys to stick around because we're going to show off even more cool <laughs> shoes coming up uh, in about an hour. Shannon, what a what a cool hobby here. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to wear those out. No. No, <laughs> definitely not. All right.